Well, good morning, Jetty Rockers. Welcome back to Jetty Rocks Fishing. Well, it's about quarter to nine in the morning. I had no plans for the day, so I decided I'm gonna go fishing, y'all. So I got the truck and the boat ready. And we're gonna do a typical day of fishing with me, or just a typical day of fishing in general. This is how I plan out my day. This is how I start off. This is how I do things. So I'm just gonna show you guys to give you a little bit more insight of what we do or how we do it so hopefully you guys will enjoy the video and we're gonna get to it y'all Jetty Rockers. If you could, go ahead and go over to JettyRocks.com. You can check out some of these cool hats that we have over there. We also have some tackle available and we will have more available soon. And also guys, if you want to book a charter with me, you can book a charter there because I am now running charters. So all my information is on that website. So go check it out y'all. And you can be in your own very own Jetty Rocks fishing video. I hope to see you guys soon out on the water with me. Let's get back to the video. all right i got my tackle box my bucket with my other stuff in it my leaders and my weights we're going to try to do a meat trip so i got the red top cooler and i got four rods i basically got a rod for just about anything i can do i got a rod set for sharks i got a uh, rod with a plug on it do some uh, no wake trolling i also got a rod for free line and i also got a rod for bottom fishing so that's the plan we're gonna go catch something I'm going to get in the truck right now, and I'll see you guys at the bait shop. Well, we got a little hold up this morning. We got a train. Cool to see, though. I like. I actually like looking at the graffiti on the side of the trains and cars. I think it's pretty cool looking, some of it. Some of these artists are pretty good. Even though this train don't have as much as it normally does. Normally every box car is full of there we go, that's the end. Alright guys here I'm at Donald's Bait and Tackle. Here my buck, I'm gonna go get 50 live shrimp. This is where I usually buy most of my baits right here at Donald's Bait and Tackle. It's right here on uh Dunlot Avenue, right at the foot of the Fort Orange Bridge. It's been here a long time and it's a great tackle shop. Let's go get some bait all right we are on the water we are launched all right now i gotta make a plan i'm gonna go find something that's the next step all right guys it's kind of a gloomy kind of real gloomy day i think my plan is i'm just gonna see if i can get some fish put in that cooler i'm gonna be looking for some whiting black drum sheep's head mango snapper anything like that that's going to be the plan for today we got some storms coming in so i got a couple hours i can kill before that happens so that's the plan and i will see you at our first spot y'all all right guys i'm just going to start off fishing this deep hole I'm looking for some whiting. I'm gonna go ahead and hook him in the tail here, start off with. And we're looking for some black drum, some whiting, some big whiting. There's also some big weak fish in here sometimes this time of year, so that wouldn't be a bad thing either. But we'll see what we can do. We got the first something today. Not very big though, I don't feel like. Doesn't feel very big. What's that? Ooh, a little drum right species that is the right flavor it just needs to be a little bit bigger but that is the right flavor pretty little guy number three something still don't feel real big don't feel real big what do we got here another drum another drum 
Now with these little ones around, there's gotta be some big ones. There's gotta be. This feels like a little bit better fish. At least it did when I first hooked into it. Now he's just running up to me. Nope. Nope. All right, one more, one more little fish and I'm out of here. Oh, this feels a little bit better, maybe. A little bit better. Nope, just another little drum. Another little drum. All right, one more bait. This is the setup I'm using, y'all. Just a little weight. It's like one and a half ounce swivel. About three, two foot of 20 pound test fluorocarbon. A one aught hook. Some live shrimp. And that's all I'm using. And if you guys want to get some of those rigs, those standard fish finder rigs, I do have those on the website, jettyrocks.com. You can get some of those. They're already pre-made. You just time to your main line and you're ready to go. It feels like a little bit better fish. A little bit. I'm on a rock. That's part of it. A little bit bigger drum. Not really. Maybe a tad bit bigger. Yeah, he's a tad bit bigger. All right, they're going up in size. But I think he's like, what, 11, 12? Let's see what this one is. He's 11. And they gotta be 14 inches to keep. All right. See ya. This one feels a little better. This one feels a little better. Oh, what was that? Well, that's a sheep's head. All right. He ain't big enough, but hey, it's a sheeper. It is a sheeper. Oh, he swallowed it. All right. They got to be 12 inches to keep, and I'm sure he is not 12 inches, but we're on the right track, yo. Uh, he is 11 and a half. He's almost a keeper. Something else here. Catching all kinds of fish. No keepers in the box yet, though. Another drum. Another drummer. I think I'm on the right track, so I'm going to stick around for a little while. We finally hooked a good one. Yep, we finally hooked a good fish, finally. Yeah, this is a good fish right here. Yeah, this is a good fish. Looks like a good black drum. Yep, that's a good drum. That's a good black. That's a good one. Oh, come here. That's a good one. All right. We got a box fish. All right. Finally got a boxer. And that is what I was looking for. Right there you go. I knew if I stuck it out with all those little drums that it had to be a good one in here. And that is a good one. And don't, they gotta be 14 to keep. That's definitely 14. All right. First one in the box. If I can get three more, I'd be super happy. Got another some. They don't feel as big as a mother drum. It's another drum though, but it's a littler one. I definitely have located the drum. I just wish they were all bigger. All right, we got another something. Probably another drum. I'll take a guess. No, it's a mango. It's a Grover. It might be a 10 inch Grover. We are looking for box fish today, so if he's 10 inches, he's going. Nope, he's nine. See ya. I got something. He ain't that big, I don't think. We'll see. What is it? Another drum. Not a big enough drum. Uh 
nothing here. Probably another drum if I take a guess. It's coming in pretty quick. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a whiting. Oh boy. All right, guys, we got our first whiting. Second target species acquired. And not a bad one either. That is definitely a sandwich. All right. Target species. Awesome. Two more, and I'm super happy. My goal is to get at least four, and we already got something. Come on, be another whiting. I think it's gonna be a drum. What is it? Yep, another drum. We got the pattern on that one. That's pretty crazy. Yep, got a V on both sides. A little V there and a big V there. Pretty neat. See, buddy? Something here. Might be a whiting. Might be. It very well could be. It looks a little, little speckled trout. Wow. Look at that little guy. It's a little trout. Pretty little dude. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. All right, see you later, my man. Uh, we got something here. What is this? Come on, be a whiting, be a whiting, be a whiting. Yep, whiting. Nice. Alrighty. It's too whiting. Yes, yes, yes. Alrighty. Awesome. Got another fish. Hopefully this is another whiting. It's kind of acting like it. Kind of acting like one. Come on, whiting. Come on, whiting. Nope. nope. Little drum. Little drum. Boy, there's a ton of these guys in here. A ton of them. Got here. Come on, I need one more cooler fish. I'll be happy. One more. That's acting funny. What is that? Another drum. This is what she's about. 15 inches bigger. At least 10 inches bigger. I'm gonna save this bait. Sure am. We got here. A little bit of a fight. A little bit. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Uh, another drum. Golly. Where's your big brothers? Right here. Is it a whiting? Nope. Another little drum. All right, guys. Well, that was spot number one. I stayed there for like two and a half hours. So I'm gonna go to another spot, see if I can't find a couple more fish. I got three keepers in the cooler right now. See if I can't find a couple more. And we're gonna call it a day. All right, y'all, we are done. Boat is on the trailer. And we are getting out of the water. Awesome. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, we didn't kill it by any means. We caught a ton of fish, but only three keepers in the box, plus a ladyfish to take home for bait. But all in all, just a fun day. I had nothing planned for the day. I had no charters. I really wasn't going to go fishing when I woke up. That's why I didn't get it started until about 9 o'clock. But hey, I still had a good time. I got three fish in the box for dinner. Good fish, we got a black drum. Tons of black drum, just wish they all were legal size. But that's basically a day of fishing. You know, just a normal day of fishing from the beginning to the end. You now some days we do better, catch bigger fish, more quality fish, but that's fishing, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I appreciate each and every one of y'all for subscribing to the channel. 
For all y'all that haven't subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button and that bell for notifications. Until I see y'all again, Thailand's Jetty Rockers. See y'all real soon.